totally electric, like sparkling, diamonds everywhere. I'm a gemologist and um, I'm very passionate. I like to, to buy the finished products, but I love to see the beautiful gems as well. The annual Hong Kong International Jewelry Show continues to dazzle buyers from around the world. And there was no shortage of quality designs, particularly at the Italian Pavilion, one of the biggest at the fair. Sometimes behind the creative and the design, there is also a very innovative technology that can allow to develop new products, also to allow to develop a new design. Advanced machinery for jewellery production was showcased for the first time on site. The local industry can benefit because they can also develop new products that are very appealing to the consumers. Rare jams also lit up the Hall of Extraordinary, where this Hong Kong exhibitor showcased their brand of high-end specialty pieces. There is a big gathering of uh, the people in the business. So from our point of view, we are doing a lot of outstanding design and it's time to let everyone know. Another keen exhibitor was Fasco Paris, a French jeweler already well known in the West for colorful gems. Now the company hopes to set up shop in the region, starting with Asia's world city. Now the jewelry show in Hong Kong is one of the biggest in the world, you know. Um, so here you have people from all around the world. You can really feel the market. Let's say within next year to open like one flagship in Hong Kong would be truly fantastic for me. Overseas brands are going to Hong Kong-based experts for help tapping Asian markets. Mold Herrera, for example, introduced 45 companies at the jewellery fair. Nobody wants to miss the opportunity to be in Asia. And the shows offer everything. It's a really a one-stop solution for them. The Russian company is very creative. I would say they have a unique style, but which is very uh, suitable as well for Asian market. And Switzerland companies are a lot focusing on antique and vintage uh, jewelry. So this is very unique as well and very well appreciated by buyers in the show. Buyers sourcing at the fair have the option of using MasterCard's new mobile payment acceptance solution, POGO. It allows merchants to accept card payments via smartphones or tablets. It also accepts cards from around the world. Responding to exhibitor demand, the Hong Kong Trade Development Council this year launched a two-shows, two-venues arrangement. Buyers can source for finished products at the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Centre, while those looking for loose stones and raw materials can explore the first international diamond, gem and pearl show at the Asia World Expo. The expo venue offered extraordinary jams like this 29 karat natural blue sapphire valued at 1.3 million US dollars, or this vibrant mandarin garnet. Buyers definitely had a busy week at both fairs given the wide range of jams offered. This exhibition has great diversity of jams and stones I have never seen like this before. The Chinese market is growing day by day, so need to come to Hong Kong to be in the business.